It's 2016, forget the mechanical hard drives, it's time to move on to SSDs. SSDs become more affordable for more consumers and then obviously they've got their faster, more expensive range, but it's affordable. So that means that I should be talking more about this. So let's take a look at the Toshiba SSD Q300. To start off with, the solid state drive, the aesthetic looks of it, it's really not that nice. But this is all about performance. With a read speed of 550 megabytes per second and a write speed of 530 megabytes per second, you can't really go wrong. And as we're here today, we're doing read and write speeds and we're gonna try and find out the, boss, the best possible read and write speeds for your money. So by the manufacturer, what is quoted by Crystal Disk, which we're gonna be using to test the drive again, it's quoted that you'll get 86,000 IOPS um, read and you'll get writes of 83,000 IOPS. But we're going to test this because we're using the same software as what they use to say and to advertise this SSD. So you're probably wondering what kind of storage memory is in this SSD? Well, it's got a 3 bit cell 15 nanometer NAND flash. So I'm going to tell you a bit more about the SLC and TLC and MLC. So SLC stands for single level cells and then you've got MLC that stands for multi-level cells and then you've got triple level cells meaning two LC. So I'll say that backwards, see what I did there? Now having uh, MLC could have up to four per cell so you've got three bit per cell NAND flash technology. So with MLC you can have up to four uh, bit per cell meaning it can um, store more as data on there at the same time but meaning there's going to be more errors and it's more for low power consumptions so things like that run with ECC which is a server SSD is that you can it will have like the technology or the operating software to stop that and correct all the errors now SLC you have less errors and a higher performance of read and write speeds MLC you have um, more storage and it's cheaper than what this drive will be but the thing is that you this is kind of, SLC is kind of in the middle I wouldn't use TLC which is triple level cell but it's because it's got more fail rate and it's slower uh, so MLC is probably the next one up and then SLC is actually more functionable and the good functionality as well with it is that you get well functionality I don't know if I can use that word but it's the warranty so you've got Toshiba behind you. They give you a three-year warranty on the SL, um, yeah, on the SLC, so single-level cell SSD, which is really cool. So that means anything goes wrong, you can literally get your data back from them. Hopefully, if it's not burnt up in a fire or anything like that. And then you've got the gold version, which is a two-bit uh, per cell, which is even faster than this one. Even though they've got the same read and write speeds, they work differently for like games, video editing, and stuff like that. That's why there's different prices. But this is a 480 gigabyte version, and obviously this is a 480 gigabyte version, and this is going to be, um, I'm going to add them together and use them as RAID 0 to see if I get a full performance. So if I've got a read and write speed, well, if I've got a read speed of 550 megabytes per second, I expect to see 1,100 as a gain of using them in RAID 0. Even if it's a little bit under, like 960 megabytes per second, that would be definitely a gain. But I just want to see if it's actually quite good because it's using single level cell and I want to know if it's going to have much more of a fail rate because it's not a multi level cell so if I was using double drives or triple level cell and that's getting a bit confusing but um, if you're using other drives in a RAID 0 so say that you're using a cheaper drive that's got more storage but has less fail rate but slow read and write speeds, it might benefit you using it as RAID 0. So this is what I'm talking about with SLC, so hopefully it will be quite cool. So we'll test that out. So all SSDs that I know of, uh, this is a six gigabit, I can't even hold it properly. This is a six gigabit SATA connector. Um, well, that could be connected to a port that's um, SATA 6. And then you've got this backwards compatible to SATA 3 and SATA 1.5 as well. So that's really cool. So if you've got an old uh, computer and you want to gain from the read and write speeds, you're not going to obviously get like 550 megabytes per second or 530 megabytes write speeds, but you're going to be a lot faster than mechanical hard drive. So we know that this drive is um, capable of a maximum of 6 gigabits per second. 
uh, data transfer speed, which is pretty cool. But we are moving on to PCI and everything like that, but that's going to be in another video. These drives come with an advanced speed technology, which means that it has a adaptive SLC write cache technology involved in these SSDs. So last but least, these drives can also migrate your software, so your data or your data from stuff if you're American. It means that if you've got your music, you've got your photos, you've got your videos, you've got your films, you've got anything like that, you can uh, use your old mechanical hard drive, whether, whether it's uh, the same size as a solid state drive, a big like 5.2, no, a 3.25 inch drive, you can definitely migrate your actual data from one end from the Spectrum to the SSD with no problems whatsoever. They've got software that you can download from the Shiba website and then you can actually migrate your software. So, or migrate all your data. You know you know what I mean, don't you? Let's get bench testing. What have we got here? Well, we, we, we need to make sure that we get at least 550 megabytes per second. Well, not at least, under 550 megabytes per second, but the lowest sort of like 450 megabytes per second. Okay, we've got 543.9 megabytes read speeds at the moment. 546.9 read speeds at the moment. 547.9 read speeds, which I'm quite damn well surprised because that's not... Rah! Okay, 557.2... 557.2 megabytes read speeds. Are you kidding me, Toshiba? Okay, so you lied. You said 550. We've just broken a we've broken a record here today. We've got 224.244.7 megabytes per second read speeds. 251.4. Oh my god. I'm already saying you should definitely buy this drive. I think you should buy this drive just by looking at the read so far. I want to wait for the writes first. But if the writes is as good as the reads, I would say that this would be used for video editing. I would use it for professional use and I would use it for definitely 100% gaming. If you want to get them frame rates, use an SSD like this. 478.1, oh my god. So this would be good for 4K as well. So you won't have any problems with having or even migrating your software. Obviously, you have to go as fast as your normal SSD. Uh, your normal mechanical hard drive speed and then it will be on the SSD but then when you go to transfer your SSD from data back and forth you're going to notice the read and write some real, real world uh, results right there that is crazy and this is a 480 gigabyte version so really cool I'm quite impressed now for the write speeds come on wow okay that is not bad 491.8 503.7 and we're looking at the manufacturer said 530 so I'm even quite impressed at 503.7 that's 513.3 megabytes per second so less than 27 away from being what the manufacturer said but the reads still kill it I can't believe it all right so Here's the sort of results that we're looking for. I definitely recommend getting this SSD without a doubt. This is one of the fastest SSDs for the price and the quality and the three year warranty. You can't really go wrong, but all the links in the description down below all about this SSD. And also, did I mention how much stuff you get with it? You get books and stuff like that with your warranty. I've got to mention that. And look at that, how they pack your uh, SSD in it. So you get a bag to put the SSD in, and then they put it in there. It's not even mechanical moving parts, but this is what Toshiba has gone all out in the packaging. I have to mention that, so sorry if the video is a little bit longer because I have to say it, but yeah, I am very, very impressed. So in another video, I'm going to have another version of this, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about um, the Purcell on this one, as it's only got two bit Purcell. But we're going to re-bench test this um, in RAID 0, and I'm going to be doing RAID 0 with um, on my bench wet bench so I can test the difference of uh, the speeds because we've got a few here obviously so but um, we haven't got the other one yet but you have a look in the description down below there'll be another video about that anyway I definitely recommend getting this SSD I think it's super fast it's definitely worth 
graphic design, websites, day-to-day -day stuff, gaming, video editing, like CUDA cores when you're going back and forwards and stuff like that, and you've got a super fast computer, using it for a server, it's super, super cool. Actually, I don't recommend it for a server, I don't. Forget that, because uh, you need a different uh, SSD for that. But I recommend it, put it that way, and gaming. If you liked this video, if you thought it was helpful, throw us a like, if you didn't, dislike it, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Cool? Please stay. Is that alright?